And one weekend, I was out at Disneyland, just having coffee with these guys on a break, and one of them said, are you gonna try out for uh, Melodyland? Well, Melodyland was a 3,000 seat auditorium in, a, in the round, built like a cement tent, right across the street from Disneyland. And they were gonna open in June of 1963, and they were gonna do 10 legitimate Broadway musicals. The next day, I decided I'll go try out. Well, I remember what I sang. Without a song, the day, and they stopped me. Here's your patents, come back next week. Wow, well, I showed up again, and I was given the job. Six males, six females, and so when Melody Land opened in June of 1963, uh, we opened with uh, Annie Get Your Gun, Harf Presnell did the lead of Frank Butler, and Annie was uh, Betty Hutton. Wow. Lights came up, opening night, first act, and I'm on stage, and I'm part of the chorus. And I did that whole season. Uh, we would do a show at night for two weeks, and while we were doing this, the performance at night, during the day, we're learning the next performance. So we were rotating shows every two weeks. We'd bring in the stars and the supporting actors, we'd learn the music, and two weeks later, we're performing it. I started getting more responsibility. Boris Kogan was the music director. He was an instrumental guy, and he found out that I could arrange, and he found out that I could direct, and he put me in charge of the, the chorus. And in the meantime, the director was giving me bit parts in the programs, and I was starting to get lines and do some acting, although I'm no actor. I quit teaching with Melodyland. I taught two years, and I didn't go back. And then I did Melody Land the next year, another season, 20 more shows. And there I met uh, Juliet Prouse. I had a, a major role in Irma La Douce with her. And uh, I was getting more and more roles. In fact, when Irma La Douce came to town, they put my name up on the marquee. At the end of the season, 1963, probably in October, I went to uh, old NBC, which was then on Sunset and Vine, a fortress of a building. And I auditioned for the Norman Luboff Choir. Uh, Norman uh, was going to take his first tour, which was technically international, but it was just a day or two into Canada and the rest of the time in, in the States. I was married at the time. I had, I had married Ruth. Uh, we married in uh, December of 61. We had a son by the name of Todd Byron. All Franks have the same middle name, Byron. And uh, Ruth and Todd went back and spent time with her parents in Michigan while I toured with Luboff for about 10 weeks. And while I was with Luboff, he, he, uh, he hired me not just as a chorus member, but as a soloist, and I, in fact, became his assistant director, and I would even conduct sometimes a little bit. 